Hello everyone. Today we will be doing another PFSense tutorial. Our focus for today is going to be aliases. So um, you've installed your PFSense and you've been using it for some time now. And I'm going to show you how to configure aliases. The whole point for aliases is it makes managing a group of ports, IP addresses, or URL pretty easy when you're making your firewall rules. Um, let's say, for example, if you have multiple ports that you want to group in a specific category so you can apply to a firewall rule, we can do that here with aliases. If you have a group of IP addresses that you want to group as well, we can still configure that here in the aliases option. So if you have a group of web servers that you want to quickly apply a firewall policy for and they're using different IP addresses, we can create the aliases and group those into one category. So in order for you to do that, you just need to go to firewall and you select the aliases options. It's going to bring you on this page. You click the add button and here the most important thing that we want to configure is the name option so you're going to put the name of the alias you're trying to create uh, the description you can put in a description if you like but it's not required so you just maybe it's always good to put in a description so if someone else is managing this firewall or if someone else has has to manage this firewall, they should be able to read this rule and uh, read this alias and know why it was created or what it does. The other thing we want to take note here is the type. So aliases have different type. It can be hosts, it can be networks, it can be ports, and it can be URLs. Uh, URL IPs, ports, IP tables, and port tables. So, and then we have the IP and the description based on which alias type we select. So let's say our first alias type we're going to create here is we have web servers. So we'll call this, um, we have three different um, web servers in our network that maybe we want to allow uh, port 4.4 three from outside to be able to go into those web servers so for other in order for us to group that let's say we can just call this web servers and we'll put the first ip address then 100.10.4 we'll call this www1 we'll add another one 10.100.10.5 we'll call this ww2 so now we see on here that we've grouped these two IP addresses into one alias that we just call web servers. And so now if we were to go in there to create the firewall rule, maybe to allow these two web servers to be able to access the internet, instead of typing the IP addresses and creating individual rules, we can just create one rule that's going to apply for this. Once we get done, we'll go back on there and I'll show you how to add. Uh, we'll go back to the firewall option and go to firewall rules and I'll kind of show you how you can add this to your rules. So we'll save that. You want to make sure you're always applying changes. We'll go back on there. Um, let's say we wanted to import a list of IP addresses from a block list because like a lot of times you can get a block list URL that contains a bunch of IP addresses for maybe bad um, DNS servers or bad um, advert, uh, bad URLs that have malware and all that other stuff. So I did go onto GitHub for this tutorial and got a fire firehall block list. Uh, that contains a bunch of IP addresses that are um, associated with bot scout and known with uh, bot host. So there's a, it's a long list of IP addresses. So 
what I'm going to do here is I'll copy this link and then we'll go back to our PFSense. I'll just call this block bots. Okay. And then here, instead of host, we're going to use URL IPs. Okay. Once we paste that URL on there, um, we'll go ahead and save it. Apply changes. If we go to URL, we can see here that PFSense has automatically saved that and has imported all of those IP addresses that are associated with that link. So now if we go to our firewall rules and we go, let's say, to our secure LAN and we want to create the rule here that is going to allow um, our web servers that we created, the alias, to be able to go out to the internet maybe um, using port 443 only. So we're going to do single host or alias and we're going to do web servers and then allow them to go anywhere for um, port 443 and we save that and that's it. So we can see on here that our web servers now are being allowed to go out using port 443. If you hover your mouse over the web servers tab, we'll see on here that we have the two IP addresses that we added. So now that we've created a rule to allow our web servers to be able to go out on port 443, if we wanted to block any IP address from our network not to be able to reach out on those bot servers that we imported or that we created an alias for, we can add the rule all the way to the top and we can set that to block and so we want to block any traffic that's coming from any host in our internal network and going to the destination IP, um, let me see, what do we name that alias here? Okay, we want to block everything that's going to the block ports alias. So we're going to put that on there, block bots. And once we save that, we can see here that our first, very first rule in our secure line says that if any IP address internally is trying to go to any of these IP addresses that we add imported using the URL, our PFSense firewall should block it. So at this point, um, we have successfully created two aliases and we've applied them to our firewall rules. So that's, that's pretty much it for aliases. So I will recommend that you try and go back on your free time and do a lot of other practice using the aliases. There's more options here that you can practice with. You can also use the ports option, which means you can add individual ports and still apply them to one rule instead of making separate rules for them. You can also create alias aliases for networks. So you can do different subnets okay you can add different sub subnets to to your aliases and once you do that you add the description for each one of them you save them and then you can also apply them to rules that brings us to the end of this video please hit the subscribe button and like the video if you have any questions Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below.